Hey guys, I'm going to be making a super simple project with the Cricut today. It's going to be a custom DIY ceramic mug, just like this. It's super simple for people who are beginning with Cricut. Um, this is what I first started with, um, beside a wine glass. This is kind of the same way to do a wine glass. It's a little bit different just because the wine glasses are normally tapered. Mugs are just straight, so it's even easier to do a mug. Um, this is the vinyl decal way to do a DIY custom mug with Cricut. You can also do heat press with a mug on Cricut. It's a little bit more complicating, so I can make a tutorial on that in the future. Um, and you will have to use a, an easy press. This tutorial, you only need a Cricut cutter. You can use, I have a um, Explore Air 2. You can use an Explore Air 2, you can use an Explore Air, you can use a maker, you can use anything for this because all you are doing is cutting vinyl. And the kind of vinyl that you need is just the premium vinyl that you see in um, the section at Michael's. You see it everywhere, it's just regular vinyl. The other things that you need for this project are a mug. <laughs> you wanna use a glossy mug, um, more of a normal mug, because if you use a matte mug, the vinyl seems to not stick as well for me. You're gonna need the mat that came with the Cricut. Mine is super dirty right now, but it's okay. And I have um, a dull um, X-Acto knife, um, but you can use the weeder tool that comes with Cricut, anything that will kind of get out the letters of your, um, of your vinyl, the little backing to your vinyl, the little insides of letters. So I use a dull X-Acto knife because I already had one and I don't want to buy a $10 X-Acto knife from a brand. It just seems ridiculous if I already have one. This is basically it. And that's all you need. So, I'm gonna get started. Um, the first thing that you wanna do is start with your, um, your design. So, to start with your design, we're gonna have to go to the computer. So, I will see you there. Okay, so I have switched over to my computer now. That's why the quality is deteriorated because we're just gonna use my webcam for this. So I'm on my desktop right now. I'm just gonna go to my Cricut Design Studio. I have it on my desktop so it's really easy to get to, but it just opens my browser up and it takes me right to my homepage of Cricut Design Studio. So let's wait for that. Um, so now we are on a fresh canvas. These are awesome. Gives you a whole grid. The grid is just by inches, so you know exactly how big you need your project. So, the first thing that you want to do is actually measure your mug. I'm going to use the inches side and measure. Okay. So that's going to be about two, two and a half, two and a half by two. Two and a half by two is kind of the max of what I'm going to make. Okay, so once I measured my mug, now I kind of know um, the limits of how big my text can be. So I'm going to go from there. Now this is your canvas. You have a toolbar on the left-hand side. I'm going to click text because I want to put a text saying on my mug. You can search in the images of Cricut. If you have Cricut Express or if they have free designs, you can search in there. You can get something from Google. You can put basically whatever you want. But if you're using vinyl, you have to find like a silhouette. So you're only gonna be using one color. You can layer vinyl, but that is another video for the future. <laughs> um, so what you wanna do is just find the text icon if you're gonna be making just some text. And, um, I am going to type in, I don't know, you can really just write anything on these mugs. It doesn't really matter. You can write something cute about coffee. Um, you can write something um, funny. You can write something cute. You can put a little cat on there. 
Um, you can really just do about anything. This is what I'm going to do. Um, just no reason. I'm just going to put in this on my mug. Um, what I did just then is I copied, well, you don't actually have to highlight it. As long as you double click on your text and then you go to alignment at the top, I made mine centered. So it's going to give me this default text font and I hate it and that's not what I want on my mug. So I'm going to double click my text again. I'm going to go and I'm going to find a text that I actually downloaded from defont.com and the way to do that is actually I can show you. I just went to defont.com. Once you go there, um, the one that I used is Great Wishes. So I'm just searching for the same font that I used. I use Great Wishes, it's 100% free, so even if you want to sell this mug, you can actually do that. So you just click download, I'm just going to do it again just for the sake of it, click open, and it's going to give you the font file. All you have to do, I'm on a PC right now, um, but I believe it's very, very similar on a Mac. You double click that, and it will give you the text file um, open here, all you have to do is click the install button. Once you do that, your font is on your computer. You're going to want to refresh your Cricut design space so that it recognizes that you have a new font. Um, but that's basically how you add any font to your computer. And you can use that on anything that you use on your computer. So it's pretty nice. You can have whatever font you want. Um, but you're going to want to try and choose a font that is solid. So I'm going to switch it to here. So what you don't want to use is a font like, let me just show you, I'm gonna switch it back in a second. Um, you don't wanna use a font like Chicken Scratch. So I want you to look at this font. This is an annoying font. You don't wanna use this because your Cricut is gonna recognize that it needs to cut everywhere that there is black. So that means you would have to peel out all of the white spaces if you want that look, you can do it. You're just giving yourself a lot of extra work. And sometimes it just gets to you when it's that annoying. So you want to try and find something that might look like that, um, but is not, doesn't have so many holes in it. So I'm going to look up my other font again, and I'm going to show you um, that it's not quite how I want it. So I, if you can see here, the E and the P are kind of spaced weird, and some of it's good. The didn't is fine, um, but I'm gonna, and the, the second line is fine for me. So I'm gonna just change some things. Now a lot of cursive fonts will look like this when you, um, when you first put them up. Um, so, what I'm going to do is click this advanced button on the top and click ungroup to letters. That will make each individual letter able to be moved. So I'm going to kind of highlight the click and drag over a little bit closer to the E, not super close, but I think that's a little bit better. It might be too low. Let me click and drag. There. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm also going to make the T a little bit closer. Yeah, and I'm going to, I can even turn this little colon just a little bit on colon, apostrophe, apostrophe. I'm going to turn the apostrophe just a little bit. I didn't like how straight it was. So now that we have our saying, I'm going to click and drag and just copy all of them. I'm going to go to the bottom right of my screen and click attach. It's a little um, paper clip. So now we've attached all our letters, we can move them around together, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to size this to be the right inches for the mug. I don't know if that's exactly how I want it, so I'm actually going to press this unlock key right here, and I'm going to click this, put it back, and now this allows you to go and stretch it in a weird way, it doesn't keep it all locked. So now I'm going to pull it down because I know I have two inches. Um, I have two inches height wise. So now I have this and I'm going to click all these and I'm actually going to change my color to white because I'm going to be using white, um, white vinyl. 
you don't have to do this. You can leave it whatever color. It was black. You can leave it black. You're the one putting the material into the Cricut. So it really doesn't matter what you have on there. That's just to remind you, especially if you have a piece that's going to be a lot of layered vinyls with different colors, it helps you remember, okay, now it's time to put the pink on because I'm going to do the pink layer. Um, so it's good to get into the habit of selecting what you want and making it the color of your material. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it's a good habit to have. So now I want to attach everything, make sure everything's attached, everything's the right size, everything looks good, and, and now I'm going to click make it in the top right corner. Alrighty. If you had not attached the letters back together, it would look crazy. And if you're seeing that on your screen while you do this along with me, or you see it when you go to do this, it's because your letters are not attached. If you have two colors, make sure the pink is attached to the pink and the white is attached to the white. And once you do that, it will print correctly. That's kind of the tip that I have found. Um, so now we're on this screen, we need to prepare our mats. So it says to put the white color onto your 12 by 12 mat. So I'm going to show you that. Okay, so now you're going to want to prepare your mat. So I have my mat here. It is super dirty. It has a bunch of cat hair on it right now, which is fine. I just have to clean it. I have just premium white vinyl here. It also has cat hair on it, but it'll be okay. So <laughs> I'm going to cut just the size that I need. I don't need any more than that. I don't have any scrap right now. Otherwise I would just use a piece of scrap white vinyl, um, but I've used all my scrap. Literally scrap is the best. If you have any extra material from what you're cutting, save it. Cause you never know, you could be cutting something super small. You just need to put a heart somewhere. And if you have that piece of vinyl, you don't even have to cut more off your roll. So it lasts a long time. What you're gonna wanna do is just measure. You can measure on your mat. You're gonna wanna look at the computer because the computer is gonna say exactly how much material you need for your um, design. I'm gonna go a little bit over on both sides just to make sure even though it doesn't matter. You can just cut it exact or you can cut it a little bit more. So I cut it a little more. Um, so I'm gonna cut three. Let's do it. I just line it up. This is what I do. You can actually measure it. I kind of just eyeball it. I can put this away now. I don't need any more of that. And you just have to put this on your mat, face up with the glossy side up. So glossy side needs to be upward. So I'm putting it in the top right hand corner of the mat. It doesn't have to be perfectly on, as it could be over a little bit. Oh, I just peeled it up a little. Um, that's fine. Again, I'm peeling it up a little because my mat is so sticky. So, I mean, your mat can get really dirty and still be pretty sticky, which is nice. Um, so I'm going to move it just to make sure that it will cut everything. It's better to be over the lines on the outside than under because otherwise it might cut into a letter or something, which has happened to me before. So you can just push that down. <laughs> People say you're not supposed to push it down with your fingers because you shouldn't put oil on it, but that is what I do. If you have one of those, um, tools from Cricut where you can slide it or you can use a credit card or something um, here. I'll use my, I use my insurance card and I'll do what people do. So you just kind of slide it, make sure it's flat, flatten it out there. Now I'm professional. I'm actually flattening it out, but you really don't have to as long as it's down on the thing. You don't want to put too much oil on it, but if your hands are clean, it doesn't really matter. So now your mat is actually prepared. So you're ready to cut. So I'm going to move stuff out of the way and I'm actually going to just go ahead and do that. I'm going to press the on button. It's going to turn on. It's going to make funny noises and I'm going to press the open. Okay. Now I'm done with that page of my web browser. So I'm going to switch over to there and show you really quick. 
Okay, so we're done with this page now. We can click continue. If I turn the dial on my Cricut, it's going to change whatever you have the material set to. So you see the plus happen when I turned it? Now it's on vinyl. So you want it to stay on vinyl. It says load tools and mat. Um, you should have already loaded your five point blade. It should actually, if you even just open up the Cricut from um, the box, it will be in there. So you need your five point blade um, and you're going to want to go slide your mat in and press this button. So I will see you over there. I am now prompted to um, feed in my material. Make sure your vinyl is stuck to your mat, which mine is. I use my card just a little bit. Perfect. And now I can press the cut button. And let's see if it works. It looks like it worked this time. So I will show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna push out my um, mat with the feeder button. I'm gonna click finish on my computer. And now let me show you. And there's a garbage truck outside of course. Oh, let's see if you can see that. It is really hard to tell, but the only things that are really pulling up right now are the middles of some of the letters. So there's that. See a little bit right here, but that is kind of one of the things I'm gonna have to pull out anyway. So now it's time to weed. You're gonna want to peel this off your mat. The best way to do it is flipping your mat over and just pushing down on your material to peel it out. You can set your mat aside. I cover it with the thing that it came with, the piece of plastic that it came with to keep it somewhat clean because it's not gonna stay clean if you have cats. And you're gonna wanna take your X-Acto knife. Now there is an art to weeding. I am not super great at it. Um, this is the, I would say this is the relaxing part about doing um, vinyl with your Cricut because you kind of just sit there for a while picking out everything that you're not going to want to put on your mug. So you just kind of zone out, pick out what you don't want, and um, I'll speed this part up because it takes a little while. Um, but the first thing that you do want to do is peel off the background, so that's what I'm going to start with. that you have your um, design weeded out, you're gonna want to um, get some transfer paper. I forgot to mention that at first, um, but you're gonna want some transfer paper to be able to put this onto your mug. The best way to do this is to clean the outside of the mug um, with some alcohol. Just swab the outside of your mug where you're gonna put the design. And clean it, dry it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. And I should probably either drink the rest of this. Now I'm gonna be putting my design on this side of the mug. It doesn't really matter what side you do it on. And you're gonna need your transfer paper. Now I got my transfer paper from, um, I hope I'm in focus here. Oh, ah, okay. I got my transfer paper from um, another 
influencer on YouTube's site. I think it's Ant something. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if she watches this, I am sorry. Um, but I wanted to support her shop, so I bought it from there. You can get it from other places, but um, I decided to get it from her website, which I will link below. So, um, this is what it is. It's just um, transfer paper, but it's the masking tape kind, which I really like. There are other kinds of transfer paper, the clear kind, um, but this seems like it works for me. I kind of like this. So you just rip off the amount that you need. You can actually just put your design right onto there and then rip off the transfer paper. Make sure all your letters are covered with that transfer paper. So you're gonna have your design on your transfer paper. You're gonna wanna get that card that you had before and you're gonna wanna press it on just like this. When you peel back the tape, it will stay on the tape and not on the backing. So what I like to do is flip it over and watch and make sure that all the letters are transferring the way that they need to. So as you can see, they're transferring. Everything's fine so far. If you have a problem, you can slow down and use your weeder tool to pick it off the backing and put it onto your tape. But it's perfect. So we got everything onto our transfer tape. As you can see, it's just backwards because we're gonna be sticking it to our mug. You're gonna want your mug here and you're gonna want to figure out where you want it exactly. And all you have to do, I start with the center of the saying, right about here. Now, if you have a really big, much a bigger saying, you can actually cut um, the tape in between and it makes it a lot easier to apply um, it kind of gives you more freedom I really want the spacing to be perfect um, and my sayings not super super big so it should be okay this is also helpful if you're doing like a wine glass and it's tapered you want to cut as much as you can so that you can slowly put it on um, and make sure there's no wrinkles in what you're putting on. But for this, I can just kind of put it on willy-nilly. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. And that looks good to me. It might not be perfect, but you know, you're doing it at home. Start with the center, press outwards, and that's really all it takes. You peel off your tape. This is the satisfying part. And there you go. So you have your DIY mug. So that's what mine looks like. Um, if you can read. So thank you for watching. Um, hit the subscribe button if you liked this tutorial. Um, I will make a lot of tutorials in the future. This is the first one, so please subscribe, please like this video. It really helps the algorithm and to get it out there and for my videos to be seen. So hit the like button, say something nice <laughs> in the comments because the comments also help the algorithm. So the more interaction that I get on each video, the more that YouTube will push it toward the top of the list when someone searches on how to make a vinyl sticker DIY custom mug with Cricut. <laughs> So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.